Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of Be Creative, Be Great. I'm excited because today we launched the first interview of NAM 2018, which is going to be the first interview of many interviews in the next couple of weeks um, in regards to what was NAM 2018 and how the experience was. If you don't know what NAM 2018 is, there's another video out there. Go check it out. NAM 2018 in the headlines. You get some more information, a general overview as to where I was a couple of weeks ago. For those who have been watching and staying tuned on this bi-weekly basis, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a, a, a part of this channel. And today we have Kelly as the first interview from my mix. She's going to be speaking about her device, uh, uh, what the device is about. Um, she she says it's more, it's it's like an educational tool where where you can actually uh, um, use at an academy, at a school, um, at a studio to teach your um, your kids or whoever's learning mixing and how to uh, you know do vocals and adjust vocals. She gives some cool great tips. Um, and it's just so cool. It's not a long video, but she gets straight to the point. She was awesome and she gave me the opportunity to interview her. So this is the first interview of NAM 2018. Let's go check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NAM 2018. We have Kelly from My Mix. How are you today? I am awesome. Thank you. We're day one. Now it's day two. What are your goals? What's the plan for, for NAMM 2018? What's the lineup? What, what we got going on in my mix? Well, for my mix, it's really about education. It's about educating the musician because with personal monitor mixers, we have found that many times it is the tech guys who are purchasing these systems, but they end up being devices that the musicians are expected to use. And so we really want to educate people and let them know if it is a tool for the musician to use, that it has got to be something that is easy and intuitive. Not because musicians can't figure out more complicated stuff. It becomes a question of why should they figure out more complicated stuff. You musicians are there to perform. You are not there to fuddle around with equipment. And anytime you have to go from playing to fuddling to playing to fuddling, you're taken out of that creative zone. And so any kind of technology that you are using, it should be a tool that supports your creativity to keep you in that zone. And that's the perspective that we come from and say is absolutely mandatory in order to keep a musician in the zone. Now I can go into all sorts of details about other things, and if I've got time, I'll, I'll spend one minute on them. Do I have time? Yes, you do. Okay, very good. So what are the things that the biggest complaint that musicians have, especially when they go in here, is they lose the room information. Mm. And what is happening is that you get all of these mono signals stacked on top of one another. They're very dry. They're all hitting the same spot in the brain. And the brain understands that that is not a natural sound environment. Sound needs to be spread out. I'm hearing different things over here than I am over here. So there are four things that we say a musician needs to be able to create that 3D sound image in the in-ears. Number one is volume. That is actually the least important thing that you need to have control over is volume. Because once you are able to pan your instruments so they reflect a true image of what they look like in the room to how they're set up in your in-ears, your brain settles down and is like, oh, now it sounds like it's supposed to. Reverb on each individual channel, not on the overall mix, but on each individual channel to your specifications, how you want it. Not how the sound guy wants it, but how you want it. And then tone control, not a parametric EQ, very simple, subjective, treble bass, how do you like it? With those four things, you're gonna be able to create a 3D sound image where your brain settles down and says, yes, that sounds like it's supposed to sound now. I hear what I need to hear, and now I can play better. I don't have to fuddle around. I can just play and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Awesome, thank you, Kelly, for the information. This is my mix. Thank yes. you. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked uh, Kelly's interview. I hope it was useful for you. 
Um, I hope you gained some type of information that you needed. Or if you have somebody that's in need of information, how about you hit the share button? How about you copy this YouTube link and send it off to your friends? Are you subscribed? Subscribe. Don't be afraid. Stop being afraid. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, come on, hit a like, put a little comment in there. Let me know what you think. What would you like us to, to speak about? Just know in the next couple of weeks, there will be interviews on different products. My mix, we got microphones, we got uh, speakers, all types of things. Um, again, thank you for watching. And remember, don't just settle with being good when you can be great later. Thank you.